It's Samantha. That's great. Oh, we're going to the hospital because I am getting a poor place because I'm going to need chemo again. We just found out what my treatment is going to be. It is October 11th. So all you guys who've been saying that I haven't been telling you what's been going on, I didn't even know until October 11th. Last time I had my port placed, I have a video about it. I was just talking about it because I didn't vlog then. I basically woke up in the middle of it because they don't give you like full on anesthesia. They only give you like a sedative and apparently it works well on lots of people and they sleep through the whole thing, but it did not work very well on me and I just was awake for like half the surgery. So I'm kind of nervous about it. I know it's like a small procedure, but it's almost better to have general anesthesia because then you know you're just gonna be knocked out and you're not gonna wake back up until the end. Cause it's a little weird to wake up in the middle of surgery while you can feel them like touching you. And last time they kept like talking to each other because they're like, oh, hand me this tool and hand me this tool. And I kind of felt like they were talking to me because they weren't like, but obviously they weren't talking to me, but like I was a little loopy from the medicine. So I thought they were talking to me. So I was like paying attention like as hard as I could. And so then it made it really hard to sleep. Anyway, last time it was with a doctor that I knew very well, and this time he's out of town, so that's unfortunate, but at least I know what to expect this time, and I'm not going into it like not knowing that I'm probably going to wake up, because now I know I'm probably going to wake up, and I can at least prepare for that. And when I woke up, I didn't feel any pain or anything, I just felt like pressure of them pushing, and it was just surprising because they told me you're gonna have no problem you're gonna sleep with the whole thing because you don't do alcohol or drugs or whatever but no apparently that doesn't matter it's just genetics <clears throat> so yeah I'm not gonna bring the camera into the hospital maybe I'll film like a tiny bit on my phone but I'm not trying to deal with that today so I'll just update you after and let you know how it went you have anything to say and a gown with my socks. They're too big. This is where the heel's supposed to go. <laughs> yeah. So they're like really baggy. That's okay. They're still kind of comfortable. Waiting to get my IV in. Grace over there. The end. We got it on the second try. This was the first attempt, second attempt. I'm getting some fluids. It's kind of cold. Got my poor place. It was super easy. I was awake at the entire time. Um, I'm not even very loopy because they they didn't even give me that much medicine because, I mean, they, they definitely did. They kept being like, all right, I'm going to give you more. I'm going to give you more. But it wasn't as much as last time because I'm not as loopy. Um, can you see that? Wow. Yeah. Show your boobs on camera. Right, right there. Views. There's no boobs in this shot at all. That's a shame. <laughs> but yeah, it went okay. Um, I was able to walk out of the hospital last time. I had to get in a wheelchair because they just kept giving me so much medicine. But I think this time they just kind of accepted, like, you're not going to go to sleep. And I was awake the whole time, basically asking them questions about what they were doing the whole time. It's like, but it was very, they were very nice. It's like when we try to force our baby to go to sleep, and then she doesn't want to go to sleep, so we just let her be awake and do stuff. And that's always better than trying to force her to go to sleep. Good analogy, bad analogy. What do you mean? Wait, we still can go this way and go to Chick-fil-A? Yeah. Okay, we're going to Chick-fil-A and um, going to get lunch. Because I'm actually hungry and I'm usually not hungry after these things, but like I said, this medicine like does nothing. That sedation medicine like does nothing for me, so I feel like even though they gave me like three or four doses of it, it didn't do 
anything. You're not supposed to shop on Amazon. Prime. I feel a little bit loopy, but like, I feel more loopy when I take my one pill of morphine when I'm in pain. Like, I literally go, dur during the day, I sit there and I'm like, do I want to take morphine? Because morphine makes me feel bad, but also it stops the pain. I feel less loopy than that, but obviously still a little loopy. Like, I might make some mistakes talking and stuff, but... You haven't and, yet. No, it, it's been fine. It's, it was a fine procedure. I'm glad I knew what to expect, and I'm glad I knew that that medicine doesn't work. <laughs> it was so funny. I walked, I went in, after I told all of the doctors and nurses, like, outside that I was not going to fall asleep, or that sometimes it knocks me out, but then um, I wake up really quickly. Um, I went in, and there was, like, this one guy helping. He's like, oh, yeah, you're going to go to sleep. She's going to give you some medicine, and you're just going to be knocked out. Like, you're not, you're not going to remember any of this. Like, you'll just be out. And I was just, like, not responding to him because I was like, yeah, I'm not going to sleep. And, like, they still thought that I was out of it, which was funny because she showed me in the mirror my port because I asked her, like, what it looked like if I could touch it. And she was like, she was like, do you remember looking at your port in the mirror? I'm like, dude, I remember the entire surgery. Like, I, there was no part that I don't remember. <laughs> can tell you everything that happened. Did you see the specific port they put in? Or just no, things? because I had to keep my head turned to the left okay. because it's easier for them to, so to you, keep the area clean. And, and so you don't know if they gave you a pretty purple one? I should have asked. But they said it was going to be purple. Yeah, they did say it was going to be purple. I and think it, the, the port in my body is purple. So that's exciting. The one, the one they showed it, I think the one last time was purple or blue, or like purpley blue. I don't know. but But I'm... I'm happy to, I'm just gonna say it's purple because they said yes, purple. When you get it out, you can just, yes, or maybe you won't get it out. Yeah. You should keep it in this time. Keep it in forever. I mean, why not? Uh, because it's annoying. Caramel crumble milkshake. No, thanks. I'm waiting for the peppermint milkshake to return. Why? The peach milkshake is the good one. Oh, peach milkshake is for summer. Peach milkshake is for always. They don't have it anymore. It's not summer. I know, but they should. Uh, well, better. they should have the peppermint all year, too. Yeah, the caramel one doesn't sound very good. Yeah, it's probably not. Anyway, I don't know what else to do during this vlog other than say uh, thanks for watching and uh, don't believe anyone that says I've died just because I haven't posted videos because... Uh, because I'm not dead. I don't have any danger of being dead anytime soon. Well, I mean, we I mean, could you, you, there yeah, could be a car crash. There could be, like literally, like anything could kill me, right? But like, it's not like cancer is going to kill me right now. So, just don't believe people who just said I died because of that. I'm busy. Okay, I've got a baby. I'm trying to figure out all this medical stuff. So. That's why I'm not posting that. <laughs> I don't know if that makes me sound rude, but... <laughs> Alright, uh... Quit asking. Quit asking what? If I'm dead? Yeah, there's... No, they don't ask... Post when she no, feels no, like they it. don't ask if I'm dead. What they do is they, they just, like, they say, like, rest in peace. Um, sh like, she was such a great person or something. And, and these maybe are maybe you just became a jerk. These are just trolls that, that do that and they post that on my videos to make other people believe that I'm dead. Like I'm pretty sure they know I'm not dead, but they they post that and then other people in the comments are like concerned because they actually care and they're like, Oh my gosh, like when did she die? And I'm not dead. So yeah, they're coming to take our order now. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, that's all bye.